What do we got? We got CJRB. And we got it upside down, don't we? Yeah. Got the AES. My buddy Dylan Mallory is the designer. See his logo up here? Dylan has done a lot of knives that he has had OEM'd under Mallory Designs. Have you guys ever bought any of those? They were really good. But he kind of started cutting his teeth to begin with, with artisan knives. And he did a few. And then he broke out on his own, but then he's always circled back around and at least done some collaborative stuff with CJRB or Artisan, right? Deep carry pocket clip on this little one. And you know what? This knife is really inexpensive. It's AR RPM 9 steel. Uh, what is it? The J1938. Okay. Uh, dual thumb studs, as you can see, and a little brass piece inlay into the g10 handles um which is kind of gives it a little bit of a design interest there um liner lock and they're nested and the one on top is skeletonized and it's an open design and it's contoured g10 and all that and then of course you can go left or right hand on the deep carry pocket clip i was just kind of messing with it like uh am i gonna cut myself because <laughs> it drops right away and i haven't messed with this so i haven't tried to adjust the pivot to make it even more droppy and i'm not sure that i want to and if i do let it drop i guess i'm kind of okay uh there but there's no there's no flipper tab here, and it's obviously not a front flipper, or at least from my taste. Um, so here goes, right? And it's slender. It meets kind of a typical Mallory design, right? It's slender, kind of that sophisticated, but more of like a Laconico, less is more type design look to it, I think. Uh, and his knives are usually pretty slender. That's 10.8, isn't it? 0.42. That is slim. What's this, about 2.5? 0.09. Yep, 2.5 millimeter thickness on the blade stock. So, wow. And you know what? Uh, let, me, let me get this as well. But we got well more than a 3 inch. Okay, 3 and a quarter inch blade. And seven and a half overall. Okay, so full size enough. Nice, uh, slender, easy carry. And so, how much does it weigh? Because it doesn't feel like it weighs much, and it probably doesn't. Okay, three ounces barely, right? Three ounces barely. Eighty-five point six grams. Okay, so that's really light. Sensible looking blade, you know, slender, should be a good little cutter. Let me grab, let me get a piece of paper here. Okay. All right, let me try that one more time. All right. Um, not scary sharp, uh, but, a, you know, right at about par for most factory edges. I'd probably go with it, and then after using it for a while, I'd probably kick it and take it up to a little higher edge. It feels sharp, though, doesn't it? But so, okay, yeah, I'd probably just go with it, actually, for a while, see how, she, how it goes before I'd worry about stropping it. Or you could just write drop right now and strop it and just add a bit to it you know but ergos are great his design sense is really likable i like it i like his designs and his designs are usually slender not huge but not tiny and lightweight real kind of on the gent carry side 
So there you go. And, you know, you got the reversible pocket clip. But these things are not very expensive. Okay. So you can get this thing for $54 minus $5.40. So you're getting $49 for this knife. Okay. That's it. $49 in your hand. No tax. No shipping cost. Okay. It's free shipping. Okay. Free shipping on all U.S. orders. So you go, what, what more does it say about here? Oh, the little brass piece in there, flat grind. Okay, three ounce. Okay. But so, I mean, $49 for a Mallory design and just a very sensible knife. I'm sorry, you're probably not going to like, it's not like crazy, you know, um, you know, mall ninja, fantasy knife stuff or any of that. This is just going to be a good, slender, easy carry, great ergos, little user knife. And not that little. So there's that. And here you go. Let me see. We got for our little lanyard to go through there. And then the standoffs aren't too shabby, are they? Um, you know, I'm not writing home to mom about the hardware. It's whatever it is. But, I mean, I wonder if this is, I don't think, is it? Yeah, they're never ace. Well, that's because Dylan's done his own knives. And so he knows. He knows. So this was probably his call. I want number eights on the body. And so he did. He went number eights all the way around. Okay, good. Except for the pocket clip, which are number sixes. But, okay, yeah. Kicks open nice. I, you might want to know about the D10 on here. And that's, it's not like incredibly difficult. Now, it's on the light side. It is, if I can do this, then it's pretty light. This one is a fairly light detent. Okay. It's not coming out like that, but it's coming out pretty easy. Okay. That's one way to open it, on the other hand. Um, there you go. So, no, it's on the light end, for sure, of the detent. And there's your lockup. Uh, let me see. Blade plate? No. Lock rock? No. Don't have any of that. Okay. Yeah, you can snap it out. So, I mean, sometimes that's kind of nice to be able to do that if, if you want. And then you can use it and you can drop it back in and you're good. It's centered. Um... But it's easy to kick out. I think they could have done with getting that detent. Now, maybe this is just mine. Okay, it could be. So don't take it as gospel. I hate it when people say, well, uh, you know, love them knives. Said it was light, so I ain't going to get one. Well, I don't know. I, mine is. Mine is. And I know that can vary. The detent can vary. But this is light. This is light. Lighter than it probably should be. All right, so there's that. But on the other hand, this is a light, small, light use, light to medium use knife. So, okay. Now you can shake it. You can, you can bust it open this way. And if you can do it this way, that easy, yeah, it's light for sure. And it comes in a box. Yes, it does. And where did I open it? Well, on this end is where it says this, this, this. And did I kick? Well, I had to open you somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Had to open you somewhere to get you out. <sighs> okay, microfiber cloth and all that. And then this. Okay, nothing extraordinary. But then again, this is under 50 bucks after discount. So that's not, not bad. Might make a nice gift to somebody, too. And somebody to practice up on uh, their uh, thumb stud kicking. And uh, just... Uh, chick, chick, chick. Come on. Let it go. There you go. And that blade's so light. You know what? I don't think it's probably going to cut you even if it comes around and hits you. I don't think it's going to cut you. So, what do you think? CJRB AES. And you know what? I don't know what that means. And I wish 
I would have taken the time to message Dylan and say, what does AES mean? So you guys can kick it in in the comments section. But this is the CJRB AES by Dylan Mallory. And what an opportunity to get Dylan uh, a full-size, nicely sculpted knife for under $50. That's what I think. And you know what? I love them knives. You guys, stay sharp.